now we want to actually compute the derivatives of the loss. We will then also see how this takes place in the algorithm, because here in this algorithm we never explicitly compute a derivative, but rather claim that this part over here that we are using is the derivative of the loss, but we will see how this comes true. Here we have the loss from the previous exercise already pre-filled with a very specific point that we want to fit on the line, or that we want the, to fit the line to, and um, now we're going to compute the partial derivatives. So first we compute the partial derivative of this loss with respect to our first parameter, w0, and um, yeah, we'll do this using the chain rule here, so it's one half times this two over here times this part times the inner derivative, but here we have a constant, here we also have a constant, the only thing we have is this minus one factor, and we can simplify this to minus 6 plus w0 plus 4w1. And now let's compute the other partial derivative, because, so this is to know how to update the first parameter, and now we want to know how to update the second parameter of our model. And this works the same way, we again have chain rule here, 2 times this part times inner derivative, and the factor here is minus 4. So if we simplify this we get this. Like this. And um, yeah, this is really all there is to it. If we now want to have the vector of the gradient, we can write this as a vector. The first one, and also the second one, and we just take these values here. And the other one. So this is if we want to write this as a vector. Still we have to input our actual values here, so this depends on where we currently are in the space of optimization, but nevertheless we now have computed the gradient. Now we want to know how this really relates to this part that we're using over here. So for this delta over here we're doing the computation c minus y of x, and for this y of x we need to compute um, yeah, our model. So let me quickly quickly compute this delta here. So this delta is equal to c minus y of vector x. The c is our 6 that we got from our point earlier. And for our model, we just take the straight line equation again and already fill in our current value for x, which is 4. And then we just get 6 minus w0 minus 4w1. And now we need to multiply this with the vector of x. So minus delta times the vector of x, and now this is element-wise, we get another vector again with two components, so we get this over here, multiplied with x, 0, and the same thing again, multiplied with x1, 
as we saw earlier, we have values for x0 and x1, which is 1 and 4. So we fill them in. We'll fill them in now. So if we take 1 here, we get 6 minus w0 minus 4 w1. And if we take 4 here, we get 24 minus... Sorry, ah, sorry, I messed up. We, ha we are missing a minus here, this minus over here. So I quickly cheated in here. So 21, uh, 24, sorry, minus 4 times zero, uh, w0 minus 16 times w1. And now let me apply this negation. So this is equals to minus 6 plus w0 plus 4w1 and minus 24 plus 4w0 plus 16w1. And now our task was to verify that indeed this over here is the same as this. This is what we claim in our algorithm here. And if we compare those, we can see that they are the same. So, task fulfilled.